That's right. It's not going to be as hot as yesterday day by just a few degrees, but still temperatures are going to be well above average for this time of year. Still going to be very warm out there. Here's a look at what we saw yesterday. Got up to 93 degrees. That's 12 degrees above average for this time of year and three degrees shy of yesterday's record of 96 set back in 1956. We are going to be close to records as we head throughout the rest of this week and into the weekend, but like the past couple of days, still think we're going to fall short each and every day, even though it's going to be very warm. 93 was the high yesterday in Bend along I-5. We saw 91 in both Corvallis and Roseburg. Out along the coast, 63 though in Newport and 64 in North Bend. So that's the place to go again if you want to escape the heat and see the cooler temperatures. Maybe a nice ocean view. That, of course, out along the coast. Temperatures in the mid-50s right now along the coast. Along I-5, we are, we are in the upper 50s in Corvallis as well as Eugene and Cottage Grove. Roseburg in the mid-60s at this hour. Also in the mid-60s around Bend and in the mid-50s for those who live around Sun River. Here's a look at satellite radar. Mostly clear skies inland this morning. We are looking at some clouds and patchy fog along the coast and also some clouds and some showers remaining in central Oregon, but those again are moving on off to the east, but you can still see a lot of moisture moving in from the south. We'll have a chance for some thunderstorms to fire on up again. Central Oregon, mainly southern central Oregon, as well as into the eastern slopes of the Cascades. Bigger picture of what is going on. Well, high pressure is still in full control. That jet stream very far to the north up into western Canada there. So high pressure is going to continue to remain in control for today and also for the rest of the week and into the weekend for the most part. We are going to keep things calm out there. Really not much of a change in our weather. Not only are we talking about sunny skies, but also our temperatures still remaining at least 5 to if not 10 degrees above average across the area. Here's a look at Stormcast over the next 24 hours. It Things in motion, but first starting it off this morning again, some patchy fog along the coast, also some clouds out there. As we head throughout the morning, you can see the clouds back out over the ocean, keeping things mostly sunny though inland. You're starting to see some showers and some storms popping on up just to the south of Bend. And as we head into this afternoon, we see more activity, most of it at least stormcast showing to our south and east. But I do think we'll get more to move into our area, eastern slopes of the Cascades, a little bit further to the north, closer to Bend this afternoon. Everywhere else though, west of the Cascade Crest, we'll We'll keep things mostly sunny, at least in Lynn or Willamette Valley area, Umpqua Basin. Out along the coast, though, those clouds will return even as we move into tonight, also with some areas of fog. So pretty much going to see the same thing again today as what we saw yesterday, though temperatures will be slightly cooler by just a couple of degrees. Along the coast, mid to upper 60s later today, going to be windy with wind gusts around 45 miles per hour. The Umpqua Basin, you're looking at temperatures back near 90 degrees. Also breezy, though, providing some relief from the heat. Gusts will be around 20 miles per hour. The Cascades over the passage, you're looking at those mid 70s isolated thunderstorms mid 80s though in the foothills there with a lot of sunshine for central Oregon back near 90 degrees again isolated thunderstorms this afternoon otherwise keeping it very sunny today same for the Willamette Valley we'll keep it uh, very sunny out there not looking at the chance for thunderstorms temperatures will be into the upper 80s this afternoon Here's a look at the seven-day forecast along the coast. We're going to breezy conditions again tomorrow. We'll stay in those upper 60s through the weekend and into next week. For the Amco Basin, you're looking at low 90s for the rest of this week through the weekend and into next week, keeping seven days of sunshine there. The Cascades isolated thunderstorms this afternoon again on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Otherwise, you're going to see a lot of sunshine, temperatures near 80 degrees. And for the Willamette Valley, we'll be in the upper 80s for the next three days at that 90-degree mark both Saturday and Sunday and still in those upper 80s next week at least 5 to 10 degrees above average for the next seven days.